At the end of the day, I asked her to be my girlfriend and she said yes. That's how come I got to know she was the one. What's up people, Kwetcho Global here and welcome to the channel. Today, I want to share with you something that has been dear on my heart. How to know she is the one. <laughs> I would not have to think or put myself at a place where today I will be talking about this subject, how to know she is the one. Reason is simple. For a long time in my life, I didn't know how to know she was the one or she will be the one. For a long time in my life, I've not even had <laughs> the one to be able to tell you what I'm telling you now. But along the way, something happened, something changed. And I got to know that she was the one. I'm sure you have been asking yourself that same question. How do I know he is the one or how do I know she is the one? I tell you what, you know he and she is the one. And I'm going to share these two things with you that will help you be able to figure out that question that is dear on your heart. How do you know if she's the one? People come up with all sorts of questions, all sorts of things saying that people change, people do this, people do that. How do you know if she's the one? You could choose her or you could choose him. At the end of the day, they turn their back on you. Well, for many of us who are looking to be in a relationship, there's one question I think we should all ask ourselves. How do you know if he or she is the one? For you to ask that first question, how do you know if she's the one? You should ask yourself, how do you know if you are the one? Basically, everybody is looking for their one, <laughs> that one person. And for us, just so that we are not selfish, or probably we will think and put ourselves at a place where we are selfish, we are rather looking for their one who will probably come into our life and make us their one. But before you ask yourself if she is the one, Ask yourself if you are the one too. Because she's also looking for the one. Meeting you, you both be the one <laughs> at the end of the day. You be one at the end of the day. God willing. Second point. For some of us Christians, it's very important in knowing if she is the one or choosing her. It's very important you do this. Basically, many people will say, praying it's good to pray it's good to pray into the kind of woman you want the kind of woman you want to be with it's good to pray because if you don't pray many times you'll be moved by appearance you'll be moved by feelings you'll be moved by sexual desires and all sorts of things but if you pray i tell you what happened your heart will be settled on her when you meet her if you pray, there will be this one thing that will sing a song in your heart called love. Many people will say love at first sight, but I tell you what happens. When you pray, there's this thing that will happen to you when you see her, when you meet her, you know she's the one. Peace. You have peace in your heart. If she's the one, that peace will be there forever. That peace will be there and transcend in all the times that you will be together. That was what happened to me. I'll give you an example. Up until a certain age in my life, relationship and romantic stuff wasn't in the scene. It wasn't in the picture. That, and at a point in my life, I wanted to be involved. I wanted to have a girlfriend. I wanted to meet someone. But since that time, my brothers <laughs> and sisters, I've tried and tried and tried and to no avail. I haven't gotten any. Many of the girls that I knew were my friends, probably were just in a relationship. Some were out of a relationship. So it would be quite awkward to ask a friend out to be your girlfriend while she just came out of a relationship. She probably had not finished getting rid of the previous relationship she just broke out from. So we had to be on a, you know, reserve seat. <laughs> there were some that I felt they were the one. And here's how I got to know that she was the one. There's this thing I do to myself a lot. It actually helps me escape trouble. 
my heart. I listen to my heart a lot. I do want to listen to my heart a lot. And listening to my heart pointed it out to me that she was the one. Here was how it happened. The moment I met my girlfriend, I felt like, I felt peace. When I'm talking about peace, many people don't know what it is. But there's this softness that you get in your heart. Like an ice cold water poured on your cardio, <laughs> on your heart. And when that ice cold water is poured on your heart, you see how you feel refresh. You see how you feel like. You feel gentle. The moment I saw her, that was what happened to me. Peace. I felt peace in my heart. And that, for me, was a leading to know that she was the one. To be honest, I didn't want her to go away. <laughs> At where I met her, I didn't want her to go away. I didn't want her to be away from me. I just wanted all, her all to myself. <laughs> Instantly, I tell you. At the end of the day, I asked her to be my girlfriend, and she said yes. That's how come I got to know she was the one. Peace settled in my heart. Peace was how I got to know she was the one. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe, like, share with your friends. Peace out.